I'm an intriguing speaker. When I say I'm an intriguing speaker, I like to think that what I'm talking about is something that the audience can relate to, but I know a bit more about it than they do. I entertain. I don't just come out with boring old facts, dates, figures. I like to present it in such a net way that it is an entertainment. When I mean an entertainment, I mean a performance. I'm 71. And I've been around for quite a few years. I've had a lot of jobs, but I've always enjoyed show business. I've always enjoyed the entertainment. I've got a stock six acts that I talk about. The first one is Max Miller. His act was so good, he would have part of his act. He'd say, now, what do you want tonight, lady? Do you want the white book or the blue book? Last time I was here, you lot got me into trouble. Do you know why you got me into trouble? Because I want to give you the white book. But they wouldn't let me do that. They wanted the blue book. Now, that man, the stage manager, he's there, the theatre manager. You can't see him. But he's just over there. I can see him. He's sitting there in his bath chair. He's got his nice rug over him because he's a bit chilly over here in the back of the theatre on the stage. But there he is. He's over there and he's watching me all the time. He's watching me to make sure that I don't come out with the blue book. I also talk about Max Bygraves. I also talk about Tommy Cooper. He goes down very, very well. I like to talk about the crazy gang because the crazy gang is round right about the age that some people in the audience will relate to and they will remember them as well. I like to talk about Dave Allen. And I'm extending my talk now to include Ken Dodd. <laughs> I've written magazine articles. I'm a regular contributor to the Daily Mail for the, for the Peterborough column. And they seem to like me because I write about things which have happened in the past and my life. I write about my experiences. I write about myself. I write about things which are amusing. I like to write things which are anecdotal and which have got humour to them as well. I've got a series of talks about my time as a funeral director. Honestly, it really is entertaining. The entertainment side of it is the anecdotes because of what happened to me when I was younger when I was a funeral director, and it's funny things. I'll give an example. I've been doing the job for a few weeks. It was a tipping down day with rain, and it was a burial in a country churchyard. It was not a nice day. And I stood there, lowering the coffin, and suddenly realized that my feet were going from underneath me. And I started sliding slowly into the grave. But what made it worse was that I was the only one sliding into the grave and the coffin was sliding slowly on top of me. And I ended up half in the grave, half out the grave, with the coffin right across my torso. And people started laughing. The mourners were laughing. The other men carrying the coffin, they were laughing. The vicar was laughing. And they were laughing for so long, it took them a couple of minutes to remove the coffin from my hurting torso. That's an amusing anecdote I come out with. I do give talks about antiques as well. And I could make that talk last for two or three different talks as well about things that I've bought, the disasters that I've had as well, the things I should never have bought. I should have listened to the wife. With the audience that I'm going for, they are people who are mainly mature people, people who like to listen to clarity. It's so important to speak slowly and clearly to the back of the audience. People come up to me afterwards and they start chatting away as if I'm a friend. They've never met me before. They'll never meet me again probably, but they talk to me as if I'm a friend. And I see that as entertainment. I see that as the way that the entertainer should be performing for his audience.